What's going on YouTube? Tass here bringing you my first FIFA 17 gameplay video and today I've got Foot Champions gameplay for you. December weekend number two. Um, since I've just started YouTube, I know we are all aware of Foot Champions but let's just give a little recap on it. It's a new game mode implemented by EA sort of to give a boost to competitive FIFA and they've definitely done that. The in-game rewards, the you know out of game rewards you can win at the very top level LAN events and stuff. It's incredible what they've done and as for let's just stick for in-game you know the weekly rewards you make 500k plus if you're in the top 100 every single week so let's just give a little shout out to EA because we're always hard on them so we've got to be fair to them when they do something fantastic for us so yeah from draft and seasons now to foot champions this is incredible and it's definitely given an injection into FIFA. So right here I'm showing you my team here I'm rocking with a French, English and Ronaldo-ish team I've got a bit of odd situation. I've got Benzema left center mid. This is more so just after how my 40 games were going. So usually Hullet would be left center mid and Best would be Cam. But Best was doing my head in that much that he had to get dropped. Therefore Hullet goes Cam. Benzema has to play left center mid because, you know, he's got some reasonings to why he could play left center mid. So right there, that's probably my best goal you'll see in the video. The double Maradona spin from Ronaldo. The finish wasn't too great. Rude Hullet's there to sweep it up, but... Yeah, a double Maradona spin, he didn't see it coming, and that was a decent decent goal from Ronaldo. Well, basically Ronaldo. Um, so I sort of thought of a couple things I should probably talk about. Maybe you guys are thinking how I thought this weekend went for me, how I thought the team played, how you thought, maybe, if I'm honest, how I played. And I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I played absolutely horrendous. I was shambolic. I was, on a scale of 1 to 10, I was a solid 3. I was definitely not more than a 4. Now. I'm not talking about maybe my end result in how many games I win out of 40 is 3 or 4 out of 10. I'm talking about how I played. You know, guys, we all you all have a standard to yourself that you know when you're not playing good, you're like, no matter what the standard is, I'm playing worse than I usually do. And I wasn't just playing worse. I felt like, personally, I'm hard on myself, but I was playing crazy worse. Like, I was very average compared to what I can be. Um, I was really disappointed in myself. And to be honest with you guys... I mean, if you've been following social media, Twitter, and a bunch of other big YouTubers, or just anybody, you'd see that a lot of people were going on about the gameplay, including myself, along with other pros and YouTubers. But I'm not just letting myself off by the gameplay, because the gameplay can affect you to a certain extent. But then, when you feel like you're playing, there's certain scenarios in the game where the gameplay is not affecting what you're doing. And if you're honest with yourself, you don't always blame the gameplay. There are times where the gameplay does you. But there's times where you've got to be honest with yourself and you were like, in that situation, I wasn't good enough. Regardless if there was, for example, delay or a bit of, you know, a bit of a lag situation or a speed up lag or whatever. It just wasn't good enough. And that's what I felt like this weekend was. I and everybody, I mean, I saw on Twitter, it felt like everybody believed that, you know, the gameplay was not the greatest, but it hasn't been for a couple of weeks almost now. But... I can't just let myself off. I honestly, guys, like, I felt like last week I played decent. This week, I was terrible. So, if I had to give myself, yeah, again, a rating out of 10, I'd give myself a 3 or a 4. But we score, there's a couple good goals in this video that you'll see. For example, there you saw Ronaldo, the 5 star skills, cuts it back to Pogba, gets it in the back of the net. Right here, we get a little ricochet, lucky ricochet. Ronaldo takes the advantage, and 2 0, 45th minute, huge moment. Another thing. I sort of messed up here on the editing. I've sort of deleted his goal. I think he scored around the 70th minute mark. It was a cracker. Ben Arthur, top bins, outside the box. Finesse shot, crashes off the crossbar, goes past the line and comes back out. But it just obviously crosses the line, so it counts as a goal. And then we just had to try and attempt to see the game out with a 2-1 win. So, you know, a bit of a dodgy game. But right now, at this stage, guys, with five games remaining, I was sort of... I was really... Regardless of how I felt I was playing, I wouldn't blame the gameplay too much. I was really, I was unhappy with how my team was playing in terms of certain factors like I felt like I wasn't winning enough tackles, I wasn't aggressive enough, like my players were just sort of staring and looking. So the team was a terrible rating as well. I'd give it like a 5 out of 10. It was really average. Um, 
So right now, I just want to really, to be honest, in the moment, I was, I believe, I just wanted to really get through the games. So right at fiftieth minute, as you can see, there's nothing to show before. It was a, it was another dead game. Fiftieth minute, Ronaldo does a couple fake body feints. He thinks I'm, you know, going left or going right, which we usually do with the body feint. So he lunges in, gives us a penalty. I decide to go middle. It's risky because, you know, usually if you go middle and he decides to stay middle, he's definitely saved it. Whereas if you go in the corner and he goes and dives the correct way, there is a high chance he could not save it, depending on what goalkeeper, etc. the scenario. So yeah, 1-0 to us. We bring George Best on there. You saw George Best, you're probably like, oh, did I lie to you guys? No, I didn't. I bring him on at half time when things were going wrong. Right there, that was a, a, some decent build-up. Best you know, does a little body feint at the very beginning of the move, gives it there inside to Pogba, Neymar with a drag bag and a scoop turn, he does the hard work, Pogba does the rest, if he doesn't score that, I'm going to have to get him out of my team, so fair play to Pogba, but Neymar does all the heavy lifting and uh, gives Pogba the rewards. And right here, as you can see in this specific game, it was sort of like a 10 minute burst, so I remember I got the penalty like the 51st minute, this is the 65th minute, now we're 3-0 up, so it was just sort of a quick 10-15 minute burst of a couple of goals that got me over the line. Other than that, didn't play great. And uh, obviously a 3-0 scoreline in that scenario and uh, time left on the clock uh, caused a rage quit of my opponent. And yeah, let's talk about the record. So right here, as you can see, I'm pretty sure on the next screen you'll see, I have 36 wins, I believe it is. So we have two games remaining. Yep, two games remaining. The best we can do is 38. Um... Let's let me talk about when I lost. I believe I lost on five and zero, and then I went on a twenty nine game win streak and lost at thirty four and one. So just before I started recording my five games, I lost, which kind of was annoying because thirty nine would have been nice. But you know, can't get too greedy. I had a terrible weekend. Um, I would have took bef uh, thirty eight beforehand. So if we could get thirty eight, that would be great. But right here. I just want to make sure I don't mess up the game here. Benzema gives a good ball to Ronaldo. Now, you might say, why is that a good ball? It looked like a simple ball to Ronaldo. But sometimes the RDA passes are just not accurate enough. And on this game, the striker won't control the ball. And then, you know, the pass just goes into the goalkeeper's hand. So right here, my opponent's got the ball. A bit of a mess up. You could say AIDS mess up with the Blanc pass. I could have passed it somewhere else. It was unfortunate. An unfortunate goal. I'm pretty sure any, everybody that plays FIFA, that's the sort of goal that does your head in. So right there, we gift him the 1-1. Um, and as you can see right here, this is sort of not late into the second half, but after about 15-20 minutes, I was, I was doing nothing and I was sort of worried. So I had to change something. And whether I'm struggling or not, even when I'm playing good, sometimes I do change this formation. But I specifically, on this occasion, I remember changing to it purely because I was struggling in this game. I wasn't creating near enough as many chances as I usually do. And uh, yeah, I had to go with the 4-3-2-1, one, see what happened. As you can see, literally four or five minutes later, Best has the ball, gives it to Hood, a little LTRT, gives it to Pogba. What does Pogba do? He feeds Ronaldo beautifully, but he's got a two-on-one. What can Ronaldo do? We've implemented another Berber spin. You saw it earlier. That one is in a key moment in the game to possibly win the game. And he's gone absolutely huge. It's the speed of the spin in this specific one that's just too good. And obviously you guys know FIFA 17 is a cross goal. He hits it across goal. Ronaldo is going to bury it nine times out of ten. So right here, I've got the ball with Butland. Careless throw in. Careless control from Walker. It pleases me to say that as an Arsenal fan, even though it's kind of screwed me over. Um, we give him the ball back. But, you know, we've got everybody behind the ball. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? There's a cheeky overlap. If you look at the top of your screen with Walker... If you saw, if you rewind that, Blanc almost gets screened without being fouled. Blanc sort of screened and Walker has a free one-on-one. -on -one, so I doubt he meant to do that. But if he did or if he didn't, either way, fair play. 2-2. Two -two. I was really disappointed in myself to let in a sort of ladish goal. We head into extra time here. And right now, all the marbles are on the line. Anything can happen in extra time and penalties. Rude hit it. Nice little skill. The one time in the game, I remember in this game, I felt like his defence was unlocked. The one time he sort of went to sleep for a moment, Ronaldo takes advantage of the situation, dribbles past his man, and once again, a cross goal, even on the weaker foot. In, in these angles, a cross goal should always go in, as long as obviously he doesn't have like a two-star two, two -star weak foot. They should usually go in if they have good finishing, so there we go. And right here, 117th-ish minute, I sort of... I knew I can't let this guy go. I can't let this game go to penalties. Like not necessarily that I've definitely lost if it goes to penalties, because at the end of the day, regardless of the mental situation, penalties we all know it's fifty-fifty. It's based on luck. It's based on 
just the in time situation of what you think and what your opponent thinks. So, you know, anything can happen in it. But I'm thinking if I let him score, I mean, I'm in all sorts of trouble in the penalty shot because I'm the guy who's conceded the last goal. So I've got to make sure it doesn't go to that. I keep the ball decently well. Um, there's a couple of opportunities I could have gone inside for a goal, but just to make sure the ref blows his whistle, I decided to keep the week for a bit longer. Um, apologies if some people, you know, think that was a bit too much. But sometimes, guys, it's got to be done. It's foot champions. There's a lot worse than that. There's custom formations. There's counter-attack, as you saw for the winning goal that I scored. He was on counter-attack. Maybe park the bus. I'm not going to say he was parked the bus, but he was definitely counter-attack. His whole back line was all the way back. He had literally no midfield. So, you know, you've got to do what you've got to do to win. So, there we go. We're on 37 wins. We've got one game remaining. And, um, yeah, I mean, I don't think, yeah, I think there's been seven or eight or nine weekends now. Um, so far in Foot Champions, I don't think I've ever lost the last game. Uh, I know a couple uh, people that have lost the last game. I can imagine how it feels. Uh, regardless of the situation, just losing your last game is a real pain. So that's what I want to avoid right here. We analyse this team. Thiago Silva, Koscielny, that could be, sorry, Boscielny, could be a decent partnership. But I'm going to stress to you guys, in this video, I've not only got the goals, I've got chances. So in this game, I could not finish my dinner. I don't know whether it's... I. As I said earlier, I wanted to finish my games, just sort of get them out of the way. The team was not gelling with me. It was sort of angering me. How I was playing was doing my head in and just the game playing everything. I just sort of wanted to finish this weekend as soon as I could. So we're sort of in a rush here in a way in the gameplay. And right here, we've got chance here with Neymar. A chance to go across goal. I, I'll harp to you guys. You need to go across goal on FIFA 17. But in that scenario, if you check... Neymar's shot could have got blocked across goal. So I thought near post from that angle should be good enough. But great save from Lloris. Here Ronaldo's in on goal. This sums up my concentration and what I'm going through in the moment. I'm in. Why am I not looking in the radar there to see if his goalkeeper's coming out? Really poor by me. Pogba picks the ball back up. Ronaldo does a cheeky five-star skill via the ball roll. And nobody's on the end of it. Again, another chance goes begging. These are solid, solid chances. They're not clear, clear cut, but they're solid, solid chances. He has one chance, 38th minute, he should be 1-0 up. Now, we all play FIFA, we all know when you miss multiple chances and your opponent gets one chance, what usually happens, you can all say it with me, your opponent scores. For whatever reason, EA this time said no, or FIFA said this time no, which, you know, I'm grateful. I don't know if you saw earlier there, Pogba literally decided to not control the ball. If that doesn't sum up to you sort of what I felt of the team, and I don't know what will, but we're on the attack here with Ronaldo. What's Ronaldo going to do? Body feints inside, sort of stands still. I'm waiting for an option, no option. Put it sort of dilly-dallies. His strength, his height, his hair, whatever it is, gets him the ball back. Beautiful ball to Pogba. Watching that back, I've got to be squaring that to Neymar. I'm sure you guys maybe agree, maybe don't agree. It's not a definite square, but look, when his centre-back messes up there, I've got to be squaring that because that's a tight angle. On the weaker foot, you never know what can happen. So... What do you think, guys, is going to happen here? It's 45th minute. We get the ball off him. We play it to Ronaldo. Surely this is a goal. It crashes off the post. Neymar's in, and that's a goal. 2-0, 45th minute, and that's what I like to call a dagger. That's a dagger for the opponent. You can easily come back from 2-0, but the 2-0 in the 45th minute, especially if you guys checked in the clip, he had the last attack, it seemed like. But I quickly got the ball off him. His defense was nowhere to be seen. Ronaldo takes advantage. As you can see, the stats there, it was... Not complete annihilation, but it was, you know, in my favour. Um, we just couldn't score as many goals as we should have. But there we go. We end the weekend with 38 wins. Um, extremely pleased with 38 wins. Uh, I don't think anybody this weekend went 40 when it was all said and done. A bunch of people went 39, including, I'm sure you all know, Gorilla. There's some Gorilla. Um, other players you might not uh, may know that went 30. I don't think you may know him. So... Epson Gorilla went 39, fair play to him, I know he streams some of his games, so, you know, it's not easy streaming and playing, I've tried it, um, but yeah, 38 wins we get, decently happy, the point of this month anyway, guys, is there's no qualification for regionals like November was, there's just, you know, for rewards and just keeping the consistency up, so, at the end of the day, to be honest, you just want to be in the top 100 weekly and monthly, um, as a competitive player, so, We've definitely secured that with an 11th place finish. I believe when the leaderboard was all said and done, I ended up around 12th, I think. Uh, yeah, 12th. So not too bad of a weekend. Could have been worse, could have been better, um, but we'll definitely take it. And I mean, it, 
week after week, it's sort of getting like a drag because every weekend you're playing 40 games. And this weekend, for whatever reason, the last five or ten so games sort of were a drag for me. But right here, I show you guys the monthly leaderboard for December. So there's been two weekends, 80 games. I've won 77 out of 80. Um, right there, ability name R79 out of 80. Fair play to him. Gorilla 78. We're sitting there fourth. If you guys don't know, I am an Arsenal fan. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll see some comments about typical Arsenal fan coming fourth. <laughs> um, but we'll take it. It's all about consistency, guys. I mean, if you guys don't know, I was thinking about doing a video, sort of an intro for October and November. I came second. So, I mean, it wasn't the first place, but, you know, if you finish second, you want to be first. But I, for me, consistency is key, and I've always been at the top so far, so that's the most important thing to me. And other than that, December purely sort of just a sort of relaxation month and uh, sort of just going through the motions, just getting used to FIFA 17 more and more and just sort of making sure we get the rewards because we all know the rewards every week and month of great rewards especially depending on your luck they could be crazy so once again guys thank you for watching the video um i just want to say i so i'm planning on uploading rewards weekly rewards the eventual monthly rewards and obviously foot champions gameplay i i think i'm gonna make a series out of foot champions i'll probably have to start at the beginning of the month because now i've hopped into the second week so i probably can't do it now but um, yeah, so if, I also want to add another type of series. So if you guys put in the comments what you want to see from me, whether it's draft or whatever, I'd appreciate it. But until next time, guys, peace.